I'm throwing the disc upside down like this, and then it flipped in the wind to straight and then comes backwards. What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. How do you like my new lens? 10 to 18 millimeter lens. This lens was $900, so I hope it's cool. This should give everyone like a wider shot and make me look like a real vlogger, baby. So that's pretty exciting. The other lens I was using for my new camera, which I switched from Canon to Sony recently, 18 to 135 millimeter, which is an awesome lens, which has way better zoom than my Canon lens did. So I can't wait till the courses open back up and I have Casey on the camera and we can zoom in just way nicer with way better quality. So this lens is the one I've been using, but the new lens is a whole different story and gives everyone like a way wider look at everything here in my car. And it is a little bit breezy out today. I hope, like right now it's pretty dead, but I need some wind because I wanna try some MTAs and post a number for people to try and beat. We're all looking for stuff to do, so this is gonna be a fun one. I am equipped with one fastback, two fastback, a 120 gram rock. This is the lightest disc I've ever felt, so this might be good for MTAs. MTAs means maximum time aloft for everyone that didn't know. And I have a 150 gram P2, so if everything fails, this one will at least give me some kind of number I can do. The current world record is from 1984. It's been unbeatable for over 35 years, and it is 16.72 seconds. The rules are, you throw the disc up into the sky, no matter where it lands, you have to catch it yourself, and you have to catch it one-handed. And the time from release to catch is what counts and anything in the two digits everything over two, 10 seconds is amazingly good it sounds not much but once you try you'll realize that anything above 10 seconds is really good and 16.27 seconds is unheard of like maybe unbeatable forever i don't know how he did it i don't know what disc he threw it doesn't say it on here i obviously don't have the ideal equipment but this is what i'm working with with and hopefully I can post at least a double digit number today. If the wind picks up again, a record that is maybe more beatable is the mini disc MTA, which the record is at 9.92 seconds, which is also probably way better than I think it is because this has been standing since 1997. I have one pretty good big size mini. This is also pretty light, so I have high hopes for this one. Shout out to 2019 African Disc Golf Tour. That's pretty awesome. Then I have a super light mini. So maybe this is the one that actually works and glides the best. 501 Disc Golf, shout out, awesome course. And then Don Blake PDGA number 22. I don't remember where he gave this to me, but that's pretty awesome. Shout out to Don Blake. And this is one of these regular minis that you'll get most of the time if you get a tournament players pack or something. So. Not too heavy, not too light. Nice little dome to it, so maybe this one does the trick. I'm just gonna get out there and try my best. Probably you won't really be able to see anything, but I'm gonna make sure I have the release and the catch in frame, and that's everything that counts. And I won't even know my times until I get home and compare it to the timer, because I can't do it real time, obviously, because I'm all by myself, and that's just what we're doing right now. Hopefully it stops drizzling too. All right, guys, enjoy. It started raining. This was a great idea. I took the microphone off the camera just so, oh, I hope the raindrops don't mess up the picture too much. And this time for some warm ups. Whoa. Whoa. Got one. Wet discs make catching really hard. Please be 10 seconds at least. That felt really good.
did not cast that one, but that was definitely the best one so far. And I have no idea how long it was. Probably nowhere close to 16 seconds. This is my first time ever trying MTA with minis. I'm gonna go with the super light one first. I'm gonna throw this upside down so it flips up into the wind and then glides back. I'm figuring this out. I'm figuring it out. Probably not my best throw yet, but I caught it and probably not nine seconds, but that one counts. And that could have been nine seconds. I have no idea. And you probably couldn't see anything back there. I'm gonna try and zoom in. Whew! That was a decent throw run catch too. What's the world mini record on that? I'm throwing the disc upside down like this. And then it flips in the wind to straight and then comes backwards. I'm pretty sure that was my best solo MTA. Holy cow, I didn't even throw it hard and just kept gliding. That shows you that power doesn't do much. It's really about angle, spin, wind, and luck. Holy cow, I'm soaked. I am beat. And I can only hope that anything of that was usable. Because I didn't anticipate this much rain. The forecast freaking sucked. I'm angry. <sighs> but anyway, I'll outro at my desk in case any of this is usable. Or no one will ever see this. I'll try again in better weather. Up to future Simon. Man, I really hope that was somehow watchable. <laughs> the weather kind of screwed me over there. I was hoping for at least a couple like breaks in the rain, but it was like a constant drizzle. I think I'm still gonna upload this. My best mini MTA of the day was 8.6 seconds and my best MTA with a fastback was 12.12 seconds. I'm pretty happy with that. I think I can beat the mini world record from 1997. So I'm gonna go back out in better weather and better conditions, maybe a tiny bit more wind and try and get my name on the world record list. Even though obviously this is all completely unofficial, just doing it for fun. Hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe and see you at the next one.